It's a winter wonderland outside. Holy moly, all the snow. <laughs> I'm just gonna go out and check the mail here real quick. See if we got anything. Oh, well, how's it going, everybody? Frankie Slauson here for another great Frankie Slauson show video. <clears throat> and yes, making another video. Another YouTube video. Why? Why am I making another one? I'll tell you here in just a sec. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fancy dancy mailbox. Okay. Well, I'm making a video because I was asked, I was actually personally invited to do this, uh, which kind of surprised me a little bit uh, that I'd be invited by little, literally anybody to, uh, or a certain someone to do a video based on a film that I like, a film that I've talked about, I think, a lot last year. And I'm just going to go in my vehicle here because it's kind of... Perfect outside here, it's kind of cold. <sighs> Hopefully it won't be too dark, but... Uh, you see all the snow on the roof and everything, on the window? Yeah. Well, anyway. I got invited by a friend of mine who's on YouTube here uh, named Cameron McCaslin. And if you know that he's doing a contest right now uh, for, like, a Goonie... Blu-ray contest. What happened was, I guess he, uh, he, uh, when uh, Brendan Mitchell was letting everybody, all of us know on Facebook about, uh, the, uh, for some reason, Amazon.com had a, a thing uh, on there where you could get the uh, Goonies Blu-ray for $6. It must have been, like, a technical error or whatever, but this is, a, this is the thing. If you, and I've done this before, too, where I, I process an order, like try to join that two two uh, get a two day f uh, shipping free or whatever thing, you know. And it, I guess uh, I I I did it with the Three Stooges package that I got, and then find out that you know I didn't qualify because I've already had them at a trial already, but it was too late because the order's been processed, so they had to ship it uh, two day you know do the two day free shipping anyway. It's kind of like that. It's like once you make an order from Amazon and once you paid for it and everything, it's it's complete. Even if it's an error on their part, they have to ship it to you at the price that uh, you got it at. Or at the deal that you got it at. They can't just say, uh, I'm sorry, sir. You're, we were unable to process your request because... So anyway, I guess what happened was he, he, he uh, Cameron bought three uh, copies of the Goonies on Blu-ray for $6. And, and it's the actual box set that came out November 2nd. And for $6, that's kind of a, a, a freaking freaking steal, I think. You know, it's... Uh, it's really kind of a cool cool deal better than paying 40 bucks for it or 50 bucks for it i'd say or maybe more i mean you know how much these people can charge you know for stuff like that i personally have not gotten the goodies on blu-ray yet i think most of it had to do with the fact that i since i moved and all that i didn't really want to spend too much money on you know even though the box set yeah it's worth it you know because of all the things you get but because i moved and everything i you know and now because i can't really do proper reviews like i did before because you know my roommate doesn't want me to film in his house so because of all that stuff you know I, I had to postpone some stuff but he's had a contest where he's given one of those box sets away and uh, those blu-ray box sets and uh i he personally invited me to to enter so you know i guess what he's going to do is draw a name out of the hat i think you know the best idea what he should do Rather than, uh, you know, pick names out of the hat. Because then it's like a person randomly could just easily get it. I suppose that's the point of it. But he should choose, like, uh, or let the viewer, or make a video and let the viewers choose their favorite video uh, of, uh, you know, what what they, uh, which video they think deserves it or whatever. Which person deserves it. But anyway, anyway, so, but the, the, the first qualification was you had to subscribe to Cameron McCaslin, his channel. And I have done that, uh. I think I did that last year, I believe. I don't remember. I've subscribed to so many different people. I haven't. I don't remember exactly when, when or what time I've done it or whatever. But I know I've done it, and he knows I've done it. Uh, the second qualification was to find to uh, to tell how you found 
Cameron McCaslin's channel. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know a whole lot about the guy. You know, all that I know is that he's a DVD collector, film film craze nut, just like pretty much all of us here on YouTube that uh, do DVD reviews and stuff like that. But it's actually one step further, though. He also is a filmmaker and a director and everything like that. And I have a lot of props for people that actually go the extra mile and not just make a, a DVD review or whatever, but actually make a film and all that. That actually, you know, is actually looks pretty damn good where you can actually sell and everything and make a little money off of it, you know, and, and, and that people can actually appreciate and whatnot. I, I, you know, I have a lot of respect for people like that. That's why I like Cool Dude or Wet Movie because those guys, you know, they, they are trying to do more than just do DVD reviews and stuff, you know. While most of us are just sitting back waiting for the next DVD to, to, or Blu-ray to arrive, you know, to, for another review. These guys are actually doing film, making films and, and, and being very successful at it. That's why I have subscribed to Cameron McCaslin's channel. How I came across it was pretty much through Sean Phillips. I believe Sean Phillips and Wet Movie, I believe, uh, Brendan. Uh, they were talking highly about this guy named Cameron McCaslin. I knew nothing about him. I checked out his channel and was very impressed by everything that uh, that he's able uh, that he's done so far and whatnot. I would love to see that Halloween special that they came out with, but I, I don't think it was playing in the area in my area here. But uh, yeah, I mean, it just is very very cool, and so that's what keeps me subscribing and, and keep watching his videos and stuff. I mean, you do a great job there, Cameron. I mean, you you know you really really do, and, and, and sadly enough, you should have a lot more subscribers than you do. You really should. I mean, I, <laughs> I know I should say the same about myself, but I'm not nearly as good as you guys. I'm not nearly as good as Sean Phillips or Wet Movie or, or uh, you know, or even Cameron because, you know, these guys have a passion. I have a passion for it too, but unfortunately I don't have the money, okay? I don't have the, the money to invest. I mean, I have a little money, but it's not enough to invest in a nicer camera or a studio or you know all these different things uh because i know for a fact that that's how you guys make your movies and you guys actually have all these professional cameras that actually make it look really really nice you know you know how to do all that stuff me i don't have the funds i really don't you know i mean i i, I it's embarrassing a lot of times to even think about that you know because people especially with the ones who really look up to you on youtube and all that they really expect you to you know they would hope that you actually, you know, amaze them with your uh, talents and abilities. But okay, so that's how I came across the channel. And and the third qualification was, to, to in order to enter was no, well, not just to make a video response. I guess that'd be the one of the qualifications. But the fourth qualification is to uh, talk about the Goonies and why you like the Goonies, and why, I think why you should deserve to get a copy of that Blu-ray, Goonies Blu-ray, I believe. Now, I was going to do, like, this fancy, fancy video, you know, I was going to throw in my old uh, Goonie trip. See, the Goonies lately, and, and this is how it's always been for me, and I've said this before in previous videos, ha it, it's always been a, a mark of, of uh, I, I feel like there's, there's some closeness to it. Even more than Back to the Future, even more than Ghostbusters and all that, you know. I, I really feel a connection with the Goonies. I always have, and I probably always will. Uh, I've never got to meet any of the Goonies, but I, I did have the, the chance, and if you actually look at the, uh, probably the video before this one, or no, the video that I put up, before I put up Sunday's video, the interviews, go look at the interviews that I did with uh, Ron Fugelseth and Pat Radcliffe. The, they're, they are the guys responsible for directing that Goonies documentary, uh, the uh, untold story of the Goonies, and... Uh, very good stuff. I had the chance to interview those guys, and then they sent me an autograph copy of that. If you guys remember that little chat that I had with Brendan Mitchell well, on, on his channel, What Movie One? Yeah, on his channel, we did a Skype conference, and uh, I talked about that and showed him the autograph and all that stuff. And, you know, so I've had connection with that, and also the fact that I've, you know, it finally in 2008, in May of 2008, I was able to go and and uh, see Astoria, Oregon for itself in person. I don't know how many of you guys have ever done that, but if you if you never have and you want to see the see the town of Astoria, Oregon and see the Goonie House and see the Kindergarten Cop School and all that stuff, you know, I recommend to go do it. It's very, very fun. And, and you have a sense of respect. 
I mean, I have more respect now for the city of Astoria, Oregon than I ever did before. Because beforehand, you only knew what you saw in the movies or you only knew what you saw in the magazines or whatever. But once you're there, it's a total different, it's a total different feeling. It's like going to Florida or going to California. It's a total different feeling when you're there. And to me, that that is just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still kind of surprised that I was able to do that. You know, I've never been a rich guy. I can't afford to go from trip to trip or whatever. But the fact that I was able, that it worked out so well that I was able to do that is just amazing. But the Goonies have always been, you know, I've always had a big connection with that. And my favorite line of the Goonies is pretty much the one where, where Mikey says, it all starts here. I know it's just a simple one-liner, but to me... That scene really sets the mood of the Goonies. There's a lot of different lines. A lot of different classic lines that, you know, make the movie great. But my favorite is, it all starts here. Mikey, you know, saying that so quietly. And the music going on in the background. And it just, to me, sets the ultimate mood. You know, if you guys don't know which one I'm talking about. It's it's a scene that you you, you don't really hear about. Sorry about that, guys found out my batteries were really low and I <laughs> had to go get some had to go change the batteries luckily I, I was smart enough you know from the days of my Boy Scout days to uh, actually go ahead and get uh, uh, well I had a, a pack of batteries or whatever that I bought last year or whatnot uh, I think around Thanksgiving or, or maybe after I moved I think I I think it was after I moved that I bought uh, a crap load of uh, like a 15 pack or 16 pack of uh, of uh, batteries and whatnot. So anyway, where, where were we at? We are talking about the Goonies and stuff like that. This will be part two. Uh, the other half will be part one uh, because I still got lots to say and there's other things I want to mention too that I didn't mention in uh, Sunday's video as well. We might as well make it long since we had the chance, right? Uh, let's see, what, what was I going to say? Okay, so yeah, I mean, a, a lot of it has to do with the fact too that uh, you know, the movie itself, The Goonies, to me, is, is something that will always be a masterpiece. You know, it'll be something that people will always remember. You know, this or this past year was the 25th anniversary. I guarantee you in another 25 years, well, let's see, what year would that be? The year 2035 or whatever? I guarantee that even at that time, when it celebrates their 50th anniversary, you know, it's going to be remembered for so many, so many good moments and stuff. I mean, like people will have no idea uh, all the great moments and stuff that they've they've had and whatnot. But anyway, so I, I really appreciate that movie and I appreciate the fact that uh, people really enjoy it. And, and, and I appreciate the fact that I've had the chance to, you know, I bring up uh, Ron Fugleseth and Pat Radcliffe because those guys are responsible for so much of making the Goonies even popular too, by some means, because they're independent people who, you know, were independent, you know, they're independent directors or filmmakers, and they try, try to do a documentary that took them about seven years. They started doing this probably back in 2003, 2004, and it took them about seven years to to do it, to make the documentary and to make it so great that uh, they, uh, you know, that they were able to sell it. They were able to make, get interviews with people and all that and uh, to make it work. So I really, you know, that, that was good. Uh, the reason why I bring up these guys too is because they were the ones who kind of inspired me to make my own trip to Astoria, Oregon. I went down to, uh, I interviewed them back in 2007 I think it was 2007. Was it 2007? Yeah, February 2007. Originally, when I was hosting the Frankie Slauson show on Pioneer 9.1 uh, at the radio station. And uh, well, it used to be a radio show. Uh, <laughs> and these guys originally were the ones who went to Astoria, Oregon. And they made uh, a video. A very famous video that you can still find on YouTube. The only reason why they did not put it in this DVD or whatnot was because of copyright. And people get a little, people get a little uh, tired of, co or I'm getting a little sick of the whole copyright thing because it's like, you know, you see people like the nostalgia critic and whatnot who, who are making money and you know he's doing really well, but he he's uh you know he's doing something like that I always thought I'd always like to do, you know a nostalgic show, you know, and but he does it on a, on a site called Blip TV, 
so, which I guess allows you to uh, copyright or something, or ELAD, or they allow you to use it if you use it for a purpose or something like that. But anyway, but I'm sure he, he this is his, part of his job and all that too. And but it's cool to have people like that because it really brings you back to uh, the good times and stuff. You know, while you know now you know we we talk about things like the the homeless man with the golden voice. You know that to me has been the only good story that I've heard in the news for in a long time. You know, the guy who, uh, and this is kind of off, off subject, but, you know, he was, you know, homeless or whatever, and all of a sudden somebody made a video of him and threw it up on YouTube after the holidays and everything, after New Year's or whatnot, and the first week of the year, you know, 2011, there was a, uh, it made that guy, uh, Ted Williams, uh, get a job you know, all over the world. And I was like, man, that guy is so lucky. But he does have a good voice. He really does. Uh, but that was a really good story. Uh, then we hear about, it would go from back to, from happy to tragic, you know, to talk about those uh, people, or that, that guy who shot all those people in Arizona recently. And I have people that I know in Arizona. You know, I have a friend, you know, Ron Fox, he's from Arizona. And I have a couple of, I have some relatives over there too that live there. And it's like, you know, it really, you know, I don't care about po politicians or whatever, but I, but I just like, you know, get kind of, you know, weird when I see people get shot and all that. I don't like hearing stories like that, you know, because it's like, why? It, 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 you got to have balls in order to want to shoot somebody, I tell you that much. And I, I mean, I have balls, but I <laughs> I don't have enough, they're not big enough to uh, want to go and do something like that, that's for sure. Uh, so anyway, so this video, you know, yes, you know, it is kind of long, but I don't care. You know, it's like, hey, I can make longer videos, I'm going to do it. I think uh, camera got the idea of what I was trying to get at uh, with this contest and stuff, and uh, it'd be nice to win a copy. I would definitely be, uh, definitely be great, you know, because I do have the DVD of it. I never bought the Blu-ray, obviously, because I said in part one that, you know, I just didn't have enough funds, you know, just right now I don't, but, you know, I'm trying to save up some money too because uh, things, you know, certain things might be changing around here a lot sooner than expected. Uh, and I'm not going to go into detail about it right now, but maybe later on, uh, if, if things are still the way they are, then I'll let you guys know more later on. But right now I can't say anything. <laughs> uh, I also want to uh, say thanks to the Phillips family. They, uh, I think they they all saw the video that the shout out video that I did for them, and uh, you know it was just out of, it wasn't because I you know I wasn't told to do it or nothing. It was just a random act of kindness, something I just wanted to do. And, uh, you know, just, because I, I was watching the, the video that they did about, uh, what was it? Oh, it was about, uh, oh, they're talking about uh, Air Guitar Night Day, too, and how he was saying some kind words about Sean and Dweebo and all that, and then talking about this guy named Gordon Every Day, who was one of the uh, cool duder haters, I guess, and, and it's like, why would anybody want to hate somebody, you know? Or, you know, I mean, this is the internet, this is YouTube, you know, it's a social network. It's more of a social network now than it ever was before. But, I don't know, why Why would you want to hate on somebody just because you don't like them or, or you're jealous of them or whatever? Just leave them alone, you know? I mean, this Gordon Everyday guy, I've seen his videos, and, you know, he does okay. You know, he does, and, he's, and he is being true to his daily vlogs and stuff. But I, I just don't understand. I remember last year, you guys remember the video that I put up? Uh, be way before I decided to do my daily summer vlogs and all that stuff, uh, uh, it, was, it was called, I think, Frankie Show Respect to, or Show's Love to Cool Duty or whatnot. It was a really popular video and all that stuff. Uh, well, at least it was popular. It got over a thousand views anyway. Uh, the thing is that I was, uh, I, I made that video because it was out of respect for the for, for Sean and everything that he's done and, and because, you know, We've never met in real life, but we've always been good friends online and stuff. And, uh, you know, all these people hating on MJ and stuff like that. And and uh, I got a couple people that asked me about, you know, the last video that I put up. And I was talking negative about MJ. I wasn't trying to, you know, talk bad about MJ at all. What I was trying to do was try to just make a point saying that, you know, in some of the videos that he's done with Sean... Not so much the earlier ones, but like the later ones, like before they they moved to, before he moved, Sean moved to California, that 
you know, that I felt that, you know, and I'm sure a lot of other people felt that MJ was acting really negative towards Sean, you know, in some of the videos. Like, he didn't really want to make the videos, whether it was his character or not. You know, the guy who gets, you know, annoyed is kind of, gets old after a while, I think. But MJ is a very talented guy. It's, it's very cool that to see him do um, more videos and stuff like that. He, you know, I even, I remember when he had his eBay sale you know, before they went to California to raise the money. I, I was happy enough to purchase a couple things from MJ personally that he actually owned. Remember that, that Ghostbusters thing, uh, Ghostbusters sign or whatnot? And what else was there that he also gave me an autograph picture and stuff and a couple other things that I got from him, I believe. Books and stuff. So, you know, I thought that was pretty cool. You know, I really did. And I still have them. I still have them hung up, you know. Hung up in my uh, my room upstairs or whatever. So, yeah, you know, it's it's, it's just uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So, I'm going to call this video pretty much... Uh, Frankie's ranting, I guess. Well, the first video is just going to be the, the Cameron McCaslin video. And this one's going to be called the just more ranting. Because <laughs> I know I'm going to get some feedback saying, God, Frankie, you just shut up for a sec. You know, you just keep talking about one subject or another. But, you know, it's not, you know, this is a new year. It's, you know, new year videos. And, uh, the, you know, of course, the next videos that you'll see are, are the audio vlog uh, from the, the radio stream tonight. Uh, we have a... Uh, well, I guess well, well, when I put this video up, the or this video up, it'll be already done. But I have a radio show tonight that uh, I'm gonna upload the audio stream. That'll be the next thing, and then I'm gonna make uh, bring the camera along for uh, to do another radio vlog video. Now I know some people are asking to, you know, like show like us doing some video stuff like at the radio station behind the scenes rather than just record everything that you record on the stream. So I'm gonna try to do that tonight. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I can get and. Uh, you know, see what we can do. But it should be a lot of fun. And, yeah, so. Okay, so I think that's about it. Uh, like I was saying, on s this Saturday, I am planning on seeing that movie True Grit because it's here in theaters, uh, here in town anyway. I know it's been in theaters for a while now, but we finally got it in town here. And I just didn't want to drive all the way to East Grand Forks just to go see it. Uh, I will do a review. In fact, when I do the video review or like the video vlog or whatnot of their station, that'll be in conjunction with my True Grit review on Saturday. So you'll see all that videos probably Saturday night because I get the whole weekend off or whatever. So it should be a lot of fun. And uh, I, I don't mind westerns myself. I mean, even if they are spaghetti westerns, you know, uh, westerns are good. It's good to know that people still make westerns. I, I thought there was something that was just going to get out of style, but I don't think they ever will. I really don't. So, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, that's my video for today. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe. You know, get the word out. Frankie's here on YouTube. He's still around. You know, I'm not I'm not going anywhere. Uh, you know, this year is just going to be, I don't know, just a year where we just take it one day at a time, I guess. Uh, I don't know really what to say. I mean... I might this year finally invest in a new camera. I was thinking a lot about that, you know. I mean, I do want to go on another vacation and all that stuff, but I, I'd rather have a, a new camera right now. So maybe by the summertime, I will finally invest. If I'm still living in Thief River here, maybe I will finally invest in a widescreen flip camera because I've heard nothing but good things about those. And uh, flip is what I've been using for the last two years or, you know, that I've been on YouTube. But a widescreen one would be a lot better. If you guys know of any good deals or whatever on those flip cameras, if I can get them real cheap or whatever, or if you got one that you want to give away or whatever that you're using that you don't want to use no more, uh, just let me know and, uh, you know, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. I know I made a video a long time ago asking about, you know, people want to give away their stuff or whatever. Got kind of, t got high tensions the last time, so this is just if you, you know, have a flip camera that's an HD widescreen, I'm looking for one. Uh, you know, I'd be willing to pay a little bit if you, if you want to sell it or whatever, you know, just let me know. And, uh, yeah, it'd be kind of fun. So anyway, we host Frank Slauson and we will see you for another great Frank Slauson video. Bye-bye.